Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's Sketch Sunday. And through the month of April, we decided that we would create some exclusive sketches for you. So one of the Sketch Sunday crew will have designed a sketch for each of the four Sundays. So that is fun. And today, our first sketch for the month of April is by the lovely Brianna from uh, My Life on Paper here on YouTube. And it's a fun, fun sketch. So if you look at the sketch up here, you can see that um, Brianna sort of put some lovely sunbursts or beautiful rainbow type, type strips coming out from behind a photo block and that is a lot of fun. So I've sort of taken a little bit of an easy way for that in that I went into my Vicky Booten um, Where To Next collection because you'll see in a moment with the photos I really wanted to go into some blues and turquoises uh, for my color scheme. So I went back into my collection obsession uh, from a couple of months ago. So, and I took one of the papers from the paper pad that had all of these lovely starbursts um, coming out and I sort of just cut. So as I say, I took like a very, very easy way. So I sort of just cut this out there you go, so that I could recreate in an easy way that fun pattern that Brianna put on her background. So there you go, and I have some white cardstock underneath it, and I found the white cardstock to be just a little bit um, too, <laughs> too white, if, if that's a word, but just sort of too bright, and I wanted to get maybe a little bit of mixed media on the background because the photos I have, my friends, the photos I have are these. And this was our, I guess it's becoming an annual occurrence. This was the four, so just Thursday, this past Thursday, uh, we had a 30 centimeter snow fall snowstorm my friends mother nature mother nature was drunk and disorderly there you go that's all I have to say about that and it was sort of um it was below freezing obviously for it to be snow but it was sort of hovering so that it was a very very water laden snow so very very heavy the trees were full tons of power outages. Oh my gosh, I, I swear. Now, I'm pre-recording this on Friday, so just the day after this, and of course this morning I got up, it was raining. I walked to Mom's and back, and it was raining. So this is melting, and on Sunday we're going to have like 15 or 16 degrees. April is, is a very, very odd month, but you can see these photos here. And so I wanted to go into the cooler colors because, you know, cold, snow. Uh, so I wanted some blue. So that made me go into the Vicky Booten. And my uh, mixed media here, I just used some packaging technique on the background. And I used Shimmer's colorings in Mama Sings the Blues. You know, that's my favorite sort of navy. And then some Heidi Swap. Uh, color shine in teal and just did a little bit of packaging technique sort of where I thought it would show on the sides here. So let's sort of get that down my friends and let's see whether we can do this. I'm sort of going to do that so that I can get it properly lined up with you here. There we go. 
Okay, so, oh, look at that. So a little bit of a difference. So I'll just maybe trim that a bit later. So I guess this was not quite 12 by 12. Here, there we go. So that sort of gets that bit of basic down. Now, Brianna has two photos. I have three, but they are smaller photos. So I have a feeling that, you know, they take up pretty much the same amount of real estate here. And then looking at this experience, new things, came. the words sort of don't really go with the, the photos, but hey, ho, I, I, I just wanted the different colors, but I wanted something quite light so I didn't want like a heavy patterned paper so I thought this would be fun to just sort of show the different colors. Now having a look at this here I think I want to add uh, so I, I went to get a doily and I think I want to add a little bit of white in the background so I've sort of made this area a little bit darker and I'm going to lighten up this area here. And these are all papers from uh, Where To Where to Next that I have here. This one here I did actually use just a very small mat here. I have two sheets of this, so I didn't mind using this a little bit because I really wanted that sort of contrast. So let's get that down. So I think what I'm going to do here is just put these photos down here in the middle. And then we'll add uh, some more adhesive once we've got this down. So I want this sort of centered because in Brianna's sketch, it is centered. So there we go. Let's do that. So as I said, I have uh, brought in a, some, a doily and I cut it in half. So let's sort of just put that down here and then we'll have a look at what else I have. There we go. And then we'll bring this one down here so that we also have it down here. Bring that over there. There we go. All right. So I I do kind of like that. I think I think it, it it gives a little bit of lightness to the page, a little bit of texture, um, and it brightens everything up a little bit. So I sort I kind of like that as my basis. Now, what have I got in my little um, um, plate here? So I've got a couple of Nicole Jones 911 tags here. And I think these might be fun to sort of pop here maybe. So I have a couple of those. I've got uh, some flare from my stash. So I've got, you know how I love my, my watercolor cameras. And then I have this, this I've had for many, many, many years. Um, this lovely camera as well. And then I have another camera. So I, I don't think, I'm not going to use all three of these, but I thought I would like to have them here and then we'll see which one I use. I have some fun Bramble Fox snowflakes and I have a couple more here. So why don't I just get them all out and we'll see. Because with a little bit of this mixed media, the, the lovely sort of sunburst stripes coming out the background and the doily, and the photos, it doesn't need an awful lot of embellishing. Now, Brianna has um, a cluster sort of in this area, in the middle here, and a cluster over here. And she has her title along here. I don't think I'm going to put my title there, and I'll show you why in a minute. So I have a few more of these lovely snowflakes I have there. I've got Mama Time sequin mix and this is part of the April release and I think that will be gorgeous. You see there's a little bit of sort of peachy pink here 
and there is the lovely blues in here a navy a little bit of the pink so i might bring in i think i might want to bring in some of these lovely sequins in here so let's put them in the bowl there and then i have some other bramble pops bits here i've got the scarf the mitts in the blue and then i've got the whole set here in the pink and it's a nice sort of dusty peachy pink so i might use a little bit of that we'll have to see and then i have this lovely set that i really want to use i think as a title i don't think i'm going to use any of the wood on um this set i think i'm really i'm going to use either frosty days or winter my first thought is frosty days and i'm thinking of bringing the title here or here and i think i might bring it down here i think i like frosty days because we have winter and i it, it, technically the whole idea of this layout and i think i do one every year when we have the storm because we usually have one and it's almost the same date and one of the reasons that i know that is one i record it but secondly because at the bakery we tend to use to lose power every year for at least today a few years ago we had a really 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 big one but the last couple of years it has been like a full day and i'm recording this on the friday so yesterday thursday the bakery had to close because we had no power darn so I don't think winter, now winter gives a little bit more of a contrast, but that's sort of not the idea I'm going for with this layout. So unless I did something like maybe winter, winter in April. Oh, now that's an idea. Ah, now maybe I like that. Ah, and I could go get some of the smaller frosty days. You know what? I think I kind of like that. Now, you see, just sometimes talking to you, I can change my mind. I think I like that winter, and then we'll put maybe in April down there. Okay, so I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to need some smaller alphas for that but I'm definitely yeah let's go with that now do I want to see do I want to get that sort of down here and then I could do the winter do I want that there do I need that there Let me see if I bring that up here like that. And then that here. Or would I do that more maybe over here? Ah, now there's an idea. I might do it more sort of here. Something like that. And then put camera maybe here I'd have to bring this up a little bit so that I can have the camera over there with my winter here yeah I think I might like that because I don't think I want yeah I think I might like that there we'll have to see and then maybe one of the cameras or let's get some of this out The little sweater maybe that might be cute there and the hat let's see the scarf and i've got the mitts here in the blue let me put that there and let's maybe get the mitts here i'm not sure whether i want oh we have a star I'm not sure 
Okay. All right. So now let's see. So for sure. All right, my friends, let me go get some more alphas. Okay, my friends, so I went to get my alphabet soup here from Doodlebug in Swimming Pool, and I took advantage of that time, so I got the winter down here, and I positioned my pea so that I could have that um, centered. So, April, let's get that down together. go luckily these things don't last but I can tell you and I was very lucky as well because on that Thursday um, I was able to have an at home day so I got some groceries I got my groceries delivered I actually did them online this week because we knew this was coming so I got that done uh, and then was able to just have a day uh, at home doing a few chores uh, and relaxing and getting a few things done. I go to mums as a, on a regular basis. I go to mums on Wednesdays and Fridays. So thankfully this was on a Thursday. So there we go. So winter in April. So I kind of like that, my friends. Now, now I'm thinking, do I want that sort of here? not sure that I need that. I'm thinking, do I want... No, maybe I want the scarf. Do I want the scarf in pink down here? Oh, I think that might be cute. There we go. Yeah, I do kind of like that. Okay. So you see, sometimes you have an idea before uh, starting, and then as you're creating things change. Does that happen with you or do you tend to stick to a plan or do you pre-plan at all or do you just, you know, create and away you go? I do a little bit of both and today I had sort of pre-planned a little bit but as you can see it's it's taking on a life of its own. Now I definitely want to get some snowflakes on here for sure let's see and I think I want to get so would I want something like that here or do I want that here maybe then that's sort of a bit of an awkward so I think I want that maybe there okay and how about if I put sort of the camera here There and I do. See, I don't really want that sticking out from there. And I don't, well, maybe I do in the end then want that there, do I? Because I do kind of like, how about if I put that there? Okay, I'm not quite sure. Maybe I'll bring this over here. Over here. And let's see, pop one of those here. There we go. I do kind of like that, do I? There we go. And I want maybe a little bit of a hat. there. Okay, I think I like that where it is there, I think. Now, let's see, do I maybe want to bring this one in? Maybe the epoxy because I can tuck it in.
No. Hmm. Okay, so I'm really wondering. You see, I do like that. And I do want to get sort of something. There, I think I want it more in in line here. Okay, let's see. Let's put that down because I do think I like it there. Oh, I didn't take this. But you see, I, this is very, very frosted. So I think I'm going to leave the backing here because I want it to be a little bit more opaque. So there we go. Let's bring that right there. Perfect. Okay. There we go. All right, I do want that that way. Then we'll bring one of the snowflakes over here. Yeah, there we go. All right. Okay, it's starting to come together, and I'm faffing a bit, my friends, but there you go. Okay, so let's bring that. there there we go okay bring that over like that we have that down here now do I want the little camera up there not really or do I want it here maybe I think I kind of like it down here let's let's put it down there I do kind of like it down there so I'm just going to put it there you know I love my watercolor cameras these are from Hey Little Magpie. They are gorgeous. And they sort of take on the tone a little bit. There we go. Of whatever colors, as long as they're in the same sort of palette. So there we go. So I do kind of like that. Now I think I want yeah, another snowflake up here. Do I want this more of a no, you see, I don't want the same size, so let's bring this one in. There's a frosty one. I love these as well. I think I got three or four packs of these, and I think this is my last, my last one. Let's pop that there. There we go. All right. So we sort of have this coming down this way a little bit. And I think I do like that. You see, I don't think this really needs an awful lot. Now, I have some pink here and some pink here. Something tells me I should have maybe a little bit of pink up in this area. Should I? Um, maybe pop the hat. Would I pop the hat there? I do. I think that might be nice. Or would I pop it? No. See, I see. I don't think I really want anything there. So I think we're going to pop it there. And then we have a little bit of pink. I don't think I want... Now, do I want... See, in the end, I'm not sure that I want any of these. Do I want this here? Not really. No, that brings absolutely nothing to the table. So let's put the little hat. So we have a scarf, a hat, and a sweater. Don't have any of the mitts, but let's pop that there. Okay, there we go. In April, and we'll have that. And I sort of would like a little bit of a sticker here, but I don't know that I have anything. Some sort of little word there. Hang on, my friends. Okay, my friends, so I went to get the puffy stickers from my collection obsession for this month, and I'm thinking I might have something cute that I could put there. Oh, there's currently. That would be good. Well, hello there. Hey there. Today was, oh, maybe. Could I pop that here? Put that up there. Today was winter 
in April. And then it looks good on you. No, not really. Creating memories, your heart. Hey there. Uh, this, that, snapping look at you. I think uh, just another day. Remember. Oh, how about if we just do. Re no, not remember. Let's do currently. I think I just want to do currently. And we'll pop that right there there we go okay so that sort of fills that in a little bit and then my friends i think all we need now is to add some lovely sequins so let's just pop some of these sequins here there we go and i'm going to get one of the navy that and then one of these fun iridescent there and then we'll pop two more I think up there I'll get uh, one of these lovely blue and a small pink how about if we pop that up there there we go, something like that, or maybe here. Or there, let's put it there. Okay, there we go, something like that. Then let's come down here and I'll put a navy one here and a lovely blue one over here. If I want pink, I think I want to get, let's bring one of these lovely iridescent ones up here. There we go. And then one of the blue down here, over here. There we go. Then we'll bring another pink down here and get one more. And I think I'll go with one of these nice large ones up here. There we go. So that gives some fun little sequins there as well. And I think I'm going to put two more up here. There we go. Yeah, so that that's fairly well organized as well. So I do, I do like that. And then my friends, let's just get a few over here. So one up here. There we go. Bring one of the lovely navy down here. A pink right in there. The blue up there. And then we'll take one of these lovely iridescent. Up there. There we go. So I think, I think my friends, that does it. So there we go. This turned out to be a bit of a longer one than I thought it would, but in the end, I quite like it. So Brianna, thank you. Thank you for the lovely sketch and the lovely inspiration. All of uh, my friends who are playing along this week, the uh, Sketch Sunday crew will be listed down below. And we'll see you back here next week with another exclusive sketch, my friends. Thanks for being here. Bye for now.